Hi guys, today I'm going to do a quick video to show you how to make some homemade dog toys. We are going to need some fleece, a pair of scissors and a clip for one of the designs to hold the fleece together. So we'll be making either a traditional double-ended tug toy or we will make a single-ended tug toy so they're more like a little rocket that you can throw for your dog. These are typically going to be made out of two colors of fleece but you know you can do whatever you want so if you've only one color of fleece then just do a single colored dog toy your dog's going to love it just as much and if you've got loads of different little pieces of fleece left well then why not make a four colored one we'll be doing the spiral pattern and we'll also show you how to do the square pattern and the bit that I love the most, because you're making these yourself, you can make them to the size that your dog needs. So if you've got tiny little dogs, you can make tiny little tug toys. So to get started, we are going to get two pieces of fleece. So get your fleece and fold it in half. And when you fold it in half, just mark it like that. And then do the same with the other piece. So just fold it in half and then just mark it. So you're going to get a little bit of a crease. Now we're going to place them out on the table and I'm going to put it there and you can see there's a little crease. And then I'm going to lay my other bit across it. So you're going to start with a cross shape. Then for the spiral design, we are going to start and simply fold the fleece over each other. So I'm going to go in an anti-clockwise direction. You can equally go in a clockwise direction, whatever is easier for you. Just keep going in the same direction. And we're just going to fold over. So it's going to be torquo pale, pale turquoise over dark, turquoise pale turquoise over dark turquoise and then the dark turquoise last piece there's a nice little loop here and we're going to pull it through so you see that we've suddenly got a nice crisscross design now this is going to be the center of your toy and you don't want to be too rough at this point so we're just going to start to gently pull the fleece through And you can see you're starting to get that cross design. And sometimes I'll flip it up and just sort of look to see if my opposite sides are similar lengths. If one's not, then I can just tug that a little bit more to get it sort of about straight like that. Then I'll go back down onto the table and just Give a final few tightens off it and there you can see we have a nice little cross pattern and you're just now simply going to keep going in that anti-clockwise direction so flip over and over and over and through and once you've got the first one done you can definitely be a little bit rougher with it you don't have to be as, as gentle so you can secure it up nice and tight and then just go again. Flip, flip, flip. And the easiest way is if you get the two ends of the same color and pull them at the same time. And you can see we're just getting that nice little square pattern. So flip over, flip over, flip over and through. And we are just going to keep doing that so over 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 through and you will start to see that we're starting to get a little bit of a twist in that so what I find when I get to this length 
it's much easier if I just pop it between my knees because it can hold it there securely and then I'll just keep going doing exactly the same thing. So we have now made our first spiral dog toy and we have to finish it off. So simply we are going to get this and tie a knot in the fleece. So we'll do the pale turquoise one first, tighten it up nice and secure and then we will do the same with the darker one and you can just tie it off nice and secure so then you're just going to want to trim the edges so that it ends so that they're all about the same length and again we don't have to be overly precise and um, our dogs aren't going to mind if one's a little longer than the others so that's your dog toy you could leave it like that or if you want to make this a little bit more interesting you can get your scissors and cut down into it. So you make it more frilly or tassily, I suppose you could say, at the ends. Let's see, in this last one. And there, now you've got nice little fluttery end that might really get your dog excited and you have made your first dog toy. So that's the first one and that is the spiral design with the, the tassel end at one end only. So we've made our spiral dog toy and now we're going to make the square one. So you start it exactly the same way with the crisscross but instead of spiraling it, it's going to be a square design. So flip this over. We're going to look at that cross pattern again. And instead of going in an anti-clockwise or clockwise direction this time, we're going to go back and forward. So take your color and you're going to flip it back to where it came from. So we put this turquoise piece under the red, so we're going to put it back over the red and back towards itself. We'll take the red, and this piece of red is going to go there, so flip over that way. We're going to take this turquoise piece, send it over the top and back that way, and this red piece through the turquoise and back to where it came from. So I think for me, that is always the easiest way to think of it. You're always sending the color back where it came from. So turquoise to turquoise, red to red, turquoise to turquoise, and red to red. And it is always going back in the direction it came from. So you can see when I pull this one, that's tightening up when I pull that one. And then this one will go back in that direction again. So you just keep going like that until you get it finished. And what you sometimes find is one piece of fleece can actually be stretchier than the other. So you may end up with some that are one color that's longer at the end than the other. Um, the last one we did little cuts into to make the end interesting. With this one, just fold the piece of fleece in half and cut up at an angle. So fold it in half and cut up at an angle. Fold it in half. and cut up at an angle. And the final one. And there you have your square dog toy with nice little fishtail ends on it. So 
that is how you make your square we've done our square and we've done our spiral now we are going to make a double ended toy so for that you're going to need a clip of some sort and you're going to need four pieces of fleece what i do is i alternate them so i'm going to get that nice color spiral uh, in it so i'm going to go orange purple orange purple then i'm going to take my clip and i'm going to put it approximately where i think my end wants to be to give me enough length to make my tassels so i'm going to clip it in here and just that's what we're going for then simply lay it out on the table and you can suddenly see you've got that same uh, cross shape again and we are just going to do the same thing for this we're going to fold over and this will be for a spiral and you get your initial square cross in the middle and we're going to tighten this up now don't go too tight because although there's a clip in it it's not overly secure so we'll get it to a reasonable place and then you can put in your second one and this one you tie right down in now the great thing about this is because you've got the loose end you can go back and tighten that first one up when you finish so now we've got it started it is just the same thing as we did for our first spiral see that nice little cross design start. So we have finished our first end of the tug toy exactly the same way as we would for the other ones that i've shown you now we can go back to the first end and we're going to unclip it and open the pieces of fleece up this gives us the chance to then tighten up that first knot that we put in place and i can make a decision to go actually i have enough fleece there i want to make this a little bit longer so i'm going to put a couple of more spirals into it so that is then us finished basically you just finish it off exactly the same as you did with the first end and you have your double-ended tug toy so we made our double-ended tug toy today, we made our single-ended spiral dog toy and we made our single-ended square pattern dog toy. Again, you could make a double-ended square design in exactly the same way as I've shown you using um, the spiral. So I hope you find that enjoyable and I hope you find it useful. Um, go away have a play with it see um what works for you these are typically made i use probably between 24 inches to 36 inches of material and they're about an inch to two inches in thickness when i'm cutting them i just uh, cut them freehand i'm not going to mark out exactly an inch or an inch and a half or two inches thickness because it adds time and really if we're not exactly straight our dogs aren't going to aren't going to mind and you're not going to notice once you actually get it made 
so don't over worry about getting them all exactly the same size when you're starting and um, it doesn't really make that much of a difference so again hope it was useful and i can't wait to see the toys that you make for your dogs bye guys